Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how we can uh, use the basic current mirror uh, to produce multiple output currents. So basically how we can expand it uh, to from one reference current generate multiple currents that can bias multiple parts of our circuit. So basically a VGNT current mirror with multiple outputs. And the idea again is that a basic BJT current mirror can be expanded to produce multiple outputs. So I'm gonna draw my basic mirror. And I'm intentionally leaving some blank space up there. Uh, but let's start with a simple case. This will be my basic current mirror. I have my R resistor here, I have my reference current I ref, and with this I'm producing some output currents I out. Now I could connect, uh, oops, I'm forgetting my um, diode connection. Now I could connect the base of uh, transistor Q1 to yet another transistor uh, in order to uh, generate a second uh, current. So um, I'm going to call this I out two. And this, if this is Q3, this will be I out three, uh, et cetera. Let's imagine that I wanted I out three to be twice the value of my reference current. Uh, I could simply connect uh, two transistors in parallel there. So basically I could do something like this. Um, and since that representation simply uh, in the implementation is typically going to be done as a single transistor with twice the base emitter junction area, I'm just going to give it, you know, both of them together, the name Q3, etc. This could just keep going on. And then I will have, um, I out two is approximately equal to I ref. I out three is approximately equal to twice I ref. And so I could keep uh, going on and on. This is not just particular uh, to the MPN transistor. Sometimes we're going to want to apply our current mirror. The, if we are applying the current mirror or, or connecting the current source to the emitter of our transistor that we try that we're trying to bias, then we will use this type of configuration, typically an MPN current mirror. But sometimes we want to apply the current source to bias our transistor to the collector of the transistor, depending on the scenario. And in that case, it's typical to use um, PMP current mirrors. And so we can expand this. make it more general, if you will, uh, by providing some PMP mirrors. And the idea behind the PMP current mirror is very similar. The emitters of the transistor are connected together. Uh, the reference transistor is connected in a diode type of connection, so collector tied to base. And then here will be the output current for uh, if we call this transistor number four, and this is transistor number five, that will be I5, or let's call it I out five to keep it consistent with the other notation. Um, this will be now the one that is connected to VCC, and let's imagine the bottom is connected to ground, or to a, a negative uh, source. Let's just make it more general and say this is connected to VEE. Um, and this operates similarly. I mean, it's the same reference current that is flowing through Q4 and Q1. And then uh, the same current will be mirrored onto Q5. Um, and so our current I out 5 could be fed into some collector of some transistor in our circuit in order to bias that transistor. Um, we can do the exact same thing as we did below there with our 
PMP transistor, and in this case, maybe I'm going to use a different notation, equivalent to what we drew for the NPN transistor. It just means a transistor with twice uh, the emitter uh, base junction area, and I'm going to refer to it as Q6. I'm going to center my VCC connection there. And that will be I out 6. And just like in the previous case, I out 5 will be approximately equal to I ref. I out 6 will be approximately equal to 2 times I ref, etc. Um, what will be the value of I ref in this case? How can we calculate it? And in this case, I ref is going to be equal to uh, the voltage across resistor R divided by the resistance by Ohm's law. Now, what's the voltage across resistor R? Well, it's the overall uh, delta in voltage between the supplies, so VCC minus VEE, um, and then minus the voltage drop across the base emitter junction of transistor Q4 and the base emitter junction of transistor Q1, right? Because we have... VEV core and here V uh, VE one and so I could write my equation here as minus VEV four minus VBE one all that divided by R so basically this will be uh, the voltage here will be VCC minus VEV four the voltage here will be VEE uh, plus VVE1. Uh, and that's it. One thing to notice uh, is that as we keep increasing the number of stages or the number of um, output currents, we're essentially loading um, our circuit. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, we've, um, we said, you know, in, in the case of the simple current mirror, there is some current that goes into the base of the transistor, right? And we assume, let's imagine the transistors are well matched. We have some current going in here, which is essentially providing the base currents for those transistors. In the case of a simple current mirror, then we only have two base currents, IB1 and IB2. As we keep increasing the number of stages, now we also have the base current going into uh, transistor Q3. So this is IB1, IB2, uh, this is IB3, which, since IO3 is twice the amount of current as IREF, this is also going to be uh, twice the base current of, I, of Q1 or Q2. And so I can see as uh, the number of stages keeps progressing, I am losing more and more current to my base current. So my current transfer ratio, the ratio of the output current to the reference current, is going to decrease, right? Because this is going to be... Um, IV1 plus IV2 plus IV3, etc. And IV3, we just said, is two times IV1. So, how do we account for this in our calculations? Well, let's imagine that all my currents were equal. I out one equals, uh, so I'm going to say. loading effect. As the number of stages increases, my current transfer ratio decreases. And so if I were to imagine all my currents are equal to each other, I out 1 equals I out 2, equals, and let's imagine I have N for the more generic case, uh, N outputs, then this will be equal to I reference divided by 1 plus 1 plus N divided by beta. So when I had a single output stage, which was in the basic current mirror, uh, this was I out was equal to I ref divided by 1 plus 2 over beta, 1 plus 1 stage divided by beta, uh, you can go through the mathematical derivation, it's simple enough, uh, but you will conclude that as the number of my base currents increases um, and it becomes N, then my current transfer ratio is going to be equal to 
uh, 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus n divided by beta. And so basically this number is, uh, becomes larger and farther from 1, that is the ideal transfer current ratio. So this will be one of the major disadvantages. Um, that is, you know, the circuit does not scale well. Um, I out over I ref approximately equal to one only when number of stages n is small. So I'm losing accuracy in my output current as I keep increasing the number of outputs. Now there are other advantages to the basic mirror that is basically what this is, it's just a basic mirror with multiple outputs. Um, and the advantage is simplicity. Um, low transistor count. For a basic mirror, we can build it with simply two transistors, um, as well as relatively high output resistance. So essentially, uh, approximately equal to our little r out, um, small r out. And that's the case for every single output. I mean, you will see the output resistance looking into transistor Q5, will be little RO for Q5, output resistance looking into transistor Q6, um, little RO for Q6, etc. So for every output, the output resistance is approximately equal to little RO for the particular transistor. Um, and that's it. Next, we're going to take a look at um, other configurations for current mirrors. Uh, some of them are going to try to improve some of the limitations of the basic mirror. Um, but we, we will see that there is always going to be a trade-off. And so we're going to be exploring the advantages and disadvantages of the different current mirror configurations. Um, there is not one that is uh, particularly the best for every single scenario. We will see that because there are some trade-offs between the advantages and disadvantages. Uh, there will be current mirrors that will be more suitable for some uh, scenarios and some that will be more suitable for others. Thank you.